look like I got a black eye. Never mind. I'm not gonna hold you. I kinda like this little aesthetic, I guess. <laughs> um, so yesterday ended up being a great day. I concluded, so after I got off, after I left the park, got off the video with y'all, I did one more ride and I had ended up taking her near the beach. She, her drop off was near the beach and I had been wanting to go to the beach that day. But I ended up just deciding to go to the park. And so Spirit led me to the beach. And so after her, I canceled. I, I turned it off and I just sat at the beach for a moment and chilled. And then ran an errand, got some food, ate, stuff like that. And then I um, returned my rental. But I made good money. Um, but what I've learned, what I, I will, I will make good money if I shorten my rental. So if I do my rentals, my five hour rentals, I will maximize my earnings compared to me renting out for the full day. Then it's kind of more so of like, um, breaking even, you know what I mean? Um, and I just wanted to try it out. Like this is my second time trying a full day. Yeah, this is my second time trying full days, and both times have been like I still made profit. It's just not, it's not as much as me doing compared to me just doing five hours. And usually, about within five hours is when I'm making my money, anyways. Uh, the next five hours is me kind of lollygagging and wanting to check out. And so it's like I'd rather return the car and then roam around on foot because that's the thing about LA. Okay, so driving here is annoying. Like, it's not made to be driven, right? Like, the roads in LA and like the infrastructure of LA is not made to drive. It's made for horses. Like, it's made to travel by a horse, by a carriage. Like, the way the city is, like, the city and the streets are set up in and it's not fit for a car like it has the eyes for a horse you know like horses eyes are to the sides on the sides right where our eyes is here and so the road like say you're turning and you have to like be right here to yield because you want to merge you know there's ongoing traffic on this side and you're on this side and you're trying to merge into that lane you can't see those, it's so hard seeing those people the way your car is positioning to be perfectly able to maneuver into the lane, right? Um, because you have your little, that thing that's blocking your, your blind spot, right? If your blind spot, it's always in your blind spot. So it's like you kind of have to like do too much to like be able to, and by the time you straighten yourself back out, you miss another opportunity, you got to look again. Like, you know what I mean? And so... It's not made for, it's made for horses. Like, it's really made for, like, a horse to go and follow down the road or have a carriage, right? Like, the whole carriage type of thing. That's what L.A. was originally designed for because it had a lot of, like, dust and land and it, and it was always industrial, right? Now, it's becoming this modernized thing, but it's so, but they're cramming it into the streets because the streets itself is not set up to have like a thriving city or like a, a, a nightlife or like a people social life. That's what I should say. Like it, it's not designed for social life. And really, social life is really something that came about, I feel like in was like the 90s, 2000. I mean, no, I was wrong because there's like this club club. I guess no, I take that back. Because they always had, they always had social nightlifes and things like that. But I feel like, yeah, like they don't have businesses set up for that in LA. And so instead of like, and they don't give like the business, they don't give businesses or like 
contracting infrastructures like enough space i guess is, is zoning i don't know if that's the proper word for it but they don't give them enough space to make a spacious place or have a spacious business with parking and things like that and so you really have to be on foot to be to really want to like indulge and engage into like the social life the going to the restaurants and like i want to explore and try new restaurants when i'm walking that's why you you are more experimental when you travel and you're like a tourist because you, you're walking, you're just trying to explore the place. And that's when you're like, oh, let's stop here. Whereas when you're in your city, you don't stop at a place. You kind of go to the traditional places, right? Like, like fast food, commercial chains have like, you know, commercial chains have, have big spaces sometimes, but not necessarily either. But small kind of innovative or authentic restaurants and things like that eateries it's hard to get into them it's not something you could really try in a car you have to be walking to try like there's an indian restaurant that i want to try but i gotta like walk to get to it and now i'm now i'll be able to afford to walk to get to it so i'm gonna plan to walk to go and, and get to it because i take the train right like i love that's why people don't understand why i love taking the train because you're taking the train has so much freedom like you get to really explore the city you really get to indulge in the city in terms of like seeing events like that's how you see events like that's how i go to block parties that's how i go to like the free events and stuff like that because i take the train like the train walking things like that but when you have to drive you either have to pay for parking or it's parking is sketchy or it's limited or the parking signs is confusing and then the lanes the lanes and then there's no like i realized there's like half some of the streets don't have signs on it in la and so it's like what the fuck like where is this like i know where i'm going typically like i'm typically like i know how to maneuver in la by myself or where i need to go right like i'm a native so like i know where i need to go and so it's like creature habit like i got on the wrong entrance i got on the wrong freeway with one lady because i'm so used to going that way <laughs> i'm so fucking used to going that way and it didn't the navigation never said west or and then there was no sign there's like signs but there's no signs and like the signs don't make sense in the sign placements and then the lighting like the lighting structures like wait like does this light belong to me or does this light belong to you like who's this? like there will be like three lights look in your direction like which light is mine which light is mine and when all of a sudden where the, are these flashing turning lights <laughs> you know like it's been three years i have not drove in three years so i'm like what are these flashing turning lights all of a sudden like what does it even mean i'm like what does this mean <laughs> so figuring these things out again with going back to driving but i'm just like i always love like i love driving like i love the act of driving but i don't like driving in la i don't like the driving in the city but when i'm driving like to go somewhere to go into a new town or something like that it's not bad um i enjoy like driving in that sense right but i also have to take a break because it is a very exhausting task right like god bless people who do that do any form of driving right um that's a lot of focus <laughs> that's a lot of focus um and i don't it's that's i think it's a good thing because it's retraining me to have an attention span that i don't necessarily have anymore right but that's why spirit was saying to exit out of the matrix for me and we saying like you don't have to force yourself to do eight hours 12 hours you don't have to force yourself to do the human and impossible thing of stressing your brain out for such a long extended period of time listen if you could sustain focus for two hours that's fine it becomes a problem if you can't sustain focus for an hour or 30 minutes or even 10 minutes right that's when it's like okay you 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 need some help you need some assistance but if you could sustain for two hours for four hours for five hours but by the seventh hour you you're checked out you do not have adhd you're tired you're a human we're not our brains that's too much on the brain and i realized yesterday i was like that's too much on the body that's too much on the brain like 
the, the simple mistakes that I was making with this girl was simply just because I was just maxed out tired. And I was just, I stretched that last one. Like, why did I do that? Like, I I really should have ended. But I was like, I'm going to just do one more. I was like, I'm going to just do a couple of more. But after I did hers, I was like, ooh, I can't do no more. But thankfully, I, you know, it was a good distance. So, and it led me to the beach. And I was like, I have to remember that I still have control and agency. The whole point of doing Uber is to continue to maintain control and agency over my day. And so, I could still have my fluidity of peace, my fluidity of flow, right? And making sure that I still take care of myself instead of trying to make myself and turn myself back into a human machine um, just for the sake of uh, attaining money to reach a particular goal, right? To, uh, to acquire a, a something material, regardless of what it is, right? Uh, regardless of the the, state, the level of necessity that I need it to be to, right? So like to get an apartment or to, to buy a dress or whatever, right? Whatever our needs and our necessities or even our wants and our desires are. But yeah, yesterday took me out because everybody was just so chatty. Like, everybody wanted to talk. Like, I was like, y'all, like, I'm tired. And I think that the ride before her had drained me. Like, that that was really what drained me the most because it was so long. They were so loud the whole time. They were just like, they just kind of just disturbed my whole, my whole nervous system, right? Like, my whole just like calm soothingness and it was just like okay now i'm jittery and i drunk coffee so it was just and i was getting a migraine <laughs> it was too much going on for me doing too much doing too many different too, too many different things that y'all do to keep yourselves to run and run and run and run and run hours and hours and hours because you gotta grind you gotta make the money you gotta hustle you gotta boom 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 you could hustle and still be in flow, hustle and flow, right? Like you could hustle and still be in flow. You could get to the bag and not chase it. Instead, I'ma levitate to the bag, like I'ma float to it. Um, I'ma dee -dee 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 my way to the bag. Like I'm going to twirl, I'm going to go stop, and I'm gonna look at this flower, right? They say stop and smell the roses. I'm gonna stop, I'ma look at this flower. I'ma stop, I'ma park at this, you know, I'm gonna let Uber, I'm gonna turn Uber into leading my Dora the Explorer adventures, right? Like, I'm going to pick up a ride, make some money, have it take me to a new area, then park, and then find an area, right? A new area. Like, I hate doing downtown, uh, I hate doing downtown Ubering. <laughs> I hate it with a passion. I hate it with a passion okay that's where i hate it the most that's where the confusion is the most okay that's where there's so many signs and so many what so many different this road don't go this way it go that way the location is on the left is on the right if you are you on the wrong lane uh you can turn on this lane but there's cars that's going to go on the other way but y'all both share the light but y'all don't share the light at the same time but you share the light but don't miss it and don't miss that exit and don't but i'm gonna make you miss the exit because i'm gonna put the sign somewhere you don't know yesterday i spent <laughs> after the girl and i turned it off it was it was funny because after the girl it was another ride like a trip and i denied it and i turned it off and i went to go head back to go towards the beach but i had to make like this whole u-turn and do all these things right um well i had to turn into the park the hike little park thing um it's like a little hike trip i keep forgetting about which i need to go and do a hike oh my god i have to remember and remind myself to just go on a hike up there so i'm gonna do that that was a good thing that i went there yesterday but i didn't stand at that freaking light for three lights because there's a sign that's hidden in a little corner that says you gotta move all the way up to the yellow light in order for the the thing to know that you're here. Like what? I was like, where the fuck is this thing? What's happening? Why am I waiting so long? <laughs> you know? So 
Those are the things that you think me about driving is the signs. Like, LA is not, it's like, wait, like, you, what are y'all doing all day? Like, y'all need, you, you know, Karen Bass says on the weekend she drive around the city and shit. Well, you need to be making notes about this. See, she's not driving. She has a driver. You see, so she doesn't understand the infrastructure that they didn't create. They got drivers and shit. They need to be the one driving so they can understand the stupidity that they have. But I feel like it's a trap. And I feel that it is just made so that I think that the city purposely is designed for to make sure that we get into accidents. Right? Like, it's all a scheme. Like, everybody put their bid in, right? Like, you you got to think about lobbyists. Like, every every type of major, major corporation is a lobbyist. And they're going to lobby to get what they want. And they swayed and pursued the, the council members to do to do the things right and so if an insurance company is a lobbyist and they're going to fund the campaign of a particular uh candidate for whatever whether it's senate house presidential right they will um they will pay them to make sure that they don't fix certain things in the city or they they place the signs a certain type of way so that you'll be confused. You might be like, oh, shoot, no, I'm supposed to be in the other one. So I jerk over, oh, shoot, in my mess of panic, I didn't look back. Oh, I hit somebody, right? Boom, the insurance company gets this, that, and the third, right? And then boom, if there's a car lobbyist too, car company lobbyist, maybe Toyota or, or, or something like that, dealership or something that wants you, that knows that if you get in an accident, you're gonna total it out. And so you're gonna buy, you will have to buy a new car. And so to keep this constant state of you needing to buy a new car, right? They, in order for the dealership to, to thrive, you have to need to buy a new car. That's why they, that's why people always have car repairs so much, right? Like. There's material, a car, there's so much natural material that is so strong and sturdy enough to make sure that a car drives for a long, long, long time. Like super old cars have a longevity to it that isn't, necessary, that isn't necessarily a part of these new cars. A new car has like titanium or like steel or something like that that is not sustainable that only lasts for a certain amount of time and then they boost up those prices for what you have to buy those parts to get it right compared to those old cars they were made out of metal right like nice thick metal which is a natural element and so it's hard to like you know it's hard to like really destroy metal metal lasts for a long time um oh that was right You know so funny when you you're a person with a butt you're not looking at your butt the whole time like you're looking forward like i'll see my titties more than i see my butt so like if you have a if you are the big titty breasted it woman you'll know you big breasted it right but because you see it you you're conscious of it it's like in your face it's all the time but your booty it's not like in your face it's like behind so i'm always like forgetting that i have ass and so sometimes when I look in the mirror and I'll be like looking at the back I'm like, God damn. And then, you know, and then when people are responding, I'm not understanding what are they responding to, but then forget it like, oh, she has ass. But it's like, but when I'm back, I'm like, God damn. But then when I'm looking at somebody, I'm like, God damn that ass. I love to see some ass. But but I don't it's because I don't get to see my ass. But if I got to see my ass, then I probably wouldn't be like, God damn. I love to see some ass. You know, that's crazy. Like, you really just don't see your ass. But you see your titty. There's a reason why this thing was $20. Okay. Oh, shit.
that made my head itch. <laughs> Oh shit. I feel good too. I gotta see why the cat didn't want me to scratch her all the goddamn time. You know, I'm gonna have to start having her a litter out because she just keeps pooping. I bought her some soup. Oh, actually, it declined on my car because Apple Music just. I was like, fuck. I was cheating the system with, system with Apple Music, but they got me. I knew it was gonna get me because Amazon just takes too long to take it out your account. And it's like, bitch, you gotta move fast. So I got to put another $11 in there in my cash app account so that they could charge me for her soup. Because I got her some cat soup. They got cat soup. And so, because she's been pooping. And I think it's because, <laughs> I think it's because of the Dawn soap. I think she got food poison. It's because of the Dawn soap. And she wouldn't let me finish rinsing her off. And so she had, you know, she's licking her, her, her. <laughs> she's licking all that soap. But she got herself real clean. Like, she was real fluffy. And I had, like, wiped her down and stuff with the towel. It was funny how fast it, that dries her fur. Like, I was just like, I thought it was going to take forever. But it was like, oh, it's so fast. So, and then she bundled her up. And so she was good that, the rest of that day. So I just wanted to give an update. But she has been having diarrhea. And she didn't have a diarrhea. But she's been eating. She just, she just walking and shitting. And it's really not that she's walking and shitting. It's more so that, like, I pick her up and I move her. And every time I pick her up by her stomach, she shits. And so, that's really where the issue is. And I'm picking her by her stomach to move her out and trying to get in the house. And so we're fighting and tussling. <laughs> so I can get in the house. And she can stay out. And then she want to rub, and it's like, no, don't rub your leg on me, because you just shitty. you just shitty. <laughs> don't, put your shit, don't put your shit on me. She sneezes all on my leg. You're not putting your poop on my leg. <laughs> and so... <sighs> she stresses me. <laughs> she stresses me. Whatever. And I got her some soup to, to soothe it. Her, herself. I just think she just needs some broth. Oh, the dude told me at the dispensary, once you vape, you're supposed to leave it up like this, and that's what prevents it from clogging. It was funny because I was telling him that, like, I was like, you know, you have to, like, suck really hard to, like, get to it. I was like, but if not, like, you can't just do, like, a nice little, like, but I was like, you got to, like, go really hard for the light to come on. But it sounded so sexual, and I did not mean for it to sound so sexual. I was just like, it just got to, and I didn't realize it sounded sexual until he gave me a new word to say. <laughs> If you was like, I was like, yes, pool. That's the word. But I still said what I said. <coughs> <coughs> Can I do a reading? Let me pull some cards. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know where my cards are. I thought they were right here. Let's do some Uno. I got Uno cards right here. Uno. 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 This a uh, black lady. This black girl. This my kid. You know, I'm called. If I say black girl, usually I'm referred to a girl that's my age or younger. But if I say black lady or black woman, I'm usually saying a lady older than me. I noticed that when I was like, oh, this is a black girl. 
And it's not saying like, oh, you a girl, like, or you little, or you young, or whatever. It's just, you, you're around my age, like, you're up here. You're up here. It was funny, because I saw this girl, her, uh, her content, and she was like, She's 20 something. She's like, I just still feel like, I know, I'm a girl. And I feel like the same thing. Like, no, I'm a girl. Girl, no. Yeah. <laughs> and in the comments, it was like, girl, I'm, it was like, I'm 31. I still feel like a girl. Oh, she was talking about her bed. She was like, because I'm like, girl, so I'm, <laughs> that's how it's going to be for me. Like, I am a girl. Like, I wear pink. Okay. Yeah. You wear pink. Okay. I have a Barbie case phone. Hey, I'm a girl's girl. I like women, but I don't be fussing with y'all like that sometimes. But when they're nice, they're nice. No, not all women are mean. Not all women are mean. It's a particular kind of woman that come around and be mean. And she's like, girl, sit down. <laughs> girl, sit down. You do not have to state your dominance. Like... <laughs> We know who will really win. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Like, girl, sit down. And so, but other than that, like, other women are really sweet. Like, really nice. Just, like, you know, a level of comfort. Like, one girl, she got out of the car, she was like, okay, be safe. And I'm just like, Thank you. Like, you know, thank you. You know, just be understanding with each other, giving each other grace, trying to look out for each other instead of looking at each other as like, oh, I'm, I dominate you. Like, no, bitch, no, you don't. Like, I'm just trying to make it one day at a time. One cook. <laughs> I'm not about to say that. <laughs> uh, I'm so fucking funny. <laughs> but just one day at a time. <laughs> but you know, it's just so like I, <clears throat> I just be like, I forget that. It can get catty though. Like I love making women my like, acquaintance. Like I love meeting women. Um, I love meeting women like on the go. Like I like short ex exchanges with women, right? Like hey, how you doing? Da, da, da. And then you talk about fashion or something like that. We're like oh my god, I love your nails. I don't know where you get them from. Blah blah blah. Um, then to be like super besties, right? Like, instead of to be super messy. Uh-oh. Ooh, a lot of twos, y'all. Yeah, drop up. Yeah, I'm gonna take these. Oh, thank you, Kate. <clears throat> <laughs> <clears throat> what is it? When a party don't stop, don't stop till you get enough. Don't stop till you get enough. Don't stop till you get enough. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
We got two yellows, right? A decision on happiness. A decision on joy. Taking steps, taking action towards your joy. You know, let's get into this. Where are we at? 30 minutes? <clears throat> this upcoming year... 2025 as we're preparing for 2025 this is a, our nine year right and so it's the year like this year brought a lot of gems to us you received gems whether that was knowledge wisdom epiphanies money gifts whatever it was just gems right <clears throat> And um, you just seen some shit, you peeped some shit, whatever it was, all of the things, right? You just received so many gems, so many blessings, so many, so many seeds, so so much, right? So many things that's that's for the garden that sustains the garden. And so, um, you done all of those, you received all of those things, and so next year, it's about. Leaving it alone and letting it grow, right? Like, there's a point where, when you're gardening, right? There's a point where you have to, like, turn and churn and do the sand, dig the hole, put the seed in, cover it up. There's manual labor to do with fumbling and tussling the, the, the soil, right? <clears throat> then after that, all you just leave it alone. You water it, and you just let it do its thing. You just let it grow. You're not picking it. You're just watching it grow. That's what next year is about. It's just watching yourself grow. Watching whatever, all the gems that you receive, you're just, you put them, you put them where they're supposed to be. You drop them where they're supposed to be. You drop them in their hole. You drop it in the savings account. You put it in the jewelry box. Whatever. You put it in there. Now, you just watch this, watch next year. Be about self personal persevering self just pre preserve yourself now it's the going to have you will have to learn to be very balanced in learning how to know when you're being self-serving versus knowing when you are self-preserving right knowing when it's like time to like okay no i'm not I'm not doing this thing or I'm going to do this thing because I need to refuel me versus I'm doing this thing because I'm being greedy. You have to be very careful with like not tipping over the edge so much into pouring into yourself that you're now becoming narcissistic and now you're becoming like I'm going to take because I can because it serves me. I don't care about woo 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 compared to like, no, I'm just not attending this event today because I rather go relax because I'm tired and my body needs to rest. And I'm going to listen to my body and it's going in and, and it's call for rest. I know that I should answer this phone call, but I'm not. I know that I should go, you know, I should go to work today. I'm going to use my sick day off. I know that I should be maximizing my time. I'm not. I'm going to take this extra hour of a nap because I need it. I'm going to splurge a little bit more on this little thing because I need it. That has nothing to do with nobody. So it's not a problem that you want to acquire wealth, that you want to acquire luxury, that you want to have this, that, and the third. That's great. But don't but have it because it's, it's it feels good to you it nourishes you compared to you're doing it because everybody says you have to or this is what you should have and, or you're doing it so that you could tell somebody else oh ha 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 i'm better than you tying it to your worth or how somebody thinks of, or how people should think with you or perceive you or or treat and act towards you like you should be treating me as though I'm your king or your queen because I have this designer purse. I have this expensive purse, not a cheap one. You feel me?
next really quick skid row is not a museum it's not a tourist attraction it's not a mystical place it's not any of those things it's real life it's a real call for help it's a real struggle it's a real reality of 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 life it's is a person's life treat treat it as such treat it as so don't come in la asking about skid row and having it as like it's like this curiosity tourist attraction that you kind of like it's like it's like oh tell me about that hunted house can i go to that hunted house can we go on a tour oh can we go on a tour you know what i mean like stop treating like that instead think about like no there's a real serious homeless problem in la because it's very expensive out here and it's a bit and people have to work so hard out here that they have to soothe themselves with drugs. They hate their job. They hate the jobs that are offered to them. And how is set up the family system. So, you know, you have to think about it. The job that you choose, the, the actions you choose, the, the thing you choose, how you choose to make your money, it impacts your entire life it's all connected right there's no separation so if you choose a job where you have to be a fucked up person or you have to be fake or you have to be this that and the third you'll start showing that up at home too you will start showing that up at in your relationships with your connection with your family in your friend groups so if you're you're faking caddy at work that means your friends outside of your work environment, you're, you're thick and catty with them too. And then it means you're thick and catty with your friends. That means you're thick and catty with your your kids. It means you're thick and catty with your man. Yeah. You, it's best to decide the, the job that makes you happy so that if you, so then you can attract a happy marriage. Then you're having a happy relationship with your children. Then you have a happy relationship with your parents. You have a happy relationship. When I was a social worker and I hated my job, I was a raging bitch to family. Like my mom got the bolt of it, right? Because we lived together. Like I had to be to myself to recharge, to be able to the living with me while being a social worker was just not, was not going to work. You know what I mean? So we have the choice to change right like if everybody is right so in the only have a good card game if everybody the color is yellow so you either have to be two or you have to be yellow right you either have to code switch you have to change your hair right so like say as a black woman right i either gonna have to wear a weave weave and pretend and dismiss my ghetto fabulous culture to make a lot of money to thrive in in corporate america or i could be yellow and be my ghetto fabulous self make less but have fun ain't nothing like this party right but no i could not even that uh but no so it's, uh make less money work with these minimal jobs but be able, be able to be much more of my authentic self. Still tired, but work still working, working way more hours. But nothing to show for, really, right? Still can't attain nothing on my own. Staying with family, all those things. Or I could choose a whole new paradigm for myself. I don't have to follow the status quo. I could change a whole paradigm for myself and I choose the color. I don't have to. I ain't got yellow, but I got red, right? 
I got red. And so I got a wild. And so I'm gonna put that wild card down and say the color is red. The color, the, the, my life is going my way. My timeline, my rules, my, my matrix is this. You have the option to change your color when you have, when God gives you the opportunity to have a wild card. So remember we used to, so when I was in Houston, the readings that I was having in Houston, we used to have the Joker because I was using the Voodoo Day. And the Joker was the wild card. And it said, you got to look at life with a sense of humor. You got to look at things from a different perspective, right? So even with working, like, yeah, you know, we're going to have to, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna have my, I have my hands in a gazillion pots. And they may not all be financially lucrative right in this second. But they all are going to pay off in the end. But in this, right now, in this moment, it's like, okay, well, what do I do right now in this moment? Do I try to keep up with the status quo in this moment? Hell no. I got to change the car. I ain't got, I, I don't even want it no more. I ain't even got it. I'm so far removed from here. So what is mine? What's my color going to be? And so I'm just trying to figure it out. It's coming together. And I just think, it's the thing is, is that just not knowing is I think is me figuring it out and that I'll never have no nothing that will be ever concrete nothing will be concrete nothing 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 lasts forever right uh, yeah, I hope for us, baby. so it could it is out of six or eight so you could harmonize and balance between what you want to change and how you want to end and how you want to let me know that you how you want to change it how you right going into that change it from this confusion i don't know i don't know what do i decide what do i have to decide being bad like i don't know i don't know you're being this blue you're being calm and going with the flow of the change in the transition and just being like you know what neither one is neither one is my option i have a whole creative life of my own and it doesn't have to be with anybody else's perspective because i am making this path to choose happiness. And for that harmony, there's gonna be some burning away, some fire that I gotta use. Then I'm gonna put some wire, I'm gonna pour it out. And then we get into action. Slow stability action. So this next year is just slow stability in action. All you, you're just giving yourself grace this year for the next year. Sorry, 2025, 2025. You were kind of hard. We were hard on ourselves this year. This year, well, it was meant to be that way. You had to go review things. It was supposed to have been a hard on yourself year because it's a karma year. You had to look at, you had to look at everything. You had to look at your actions. You had to, you know, all these things. It was a lot collectively. But next year, you could be one or the other you could choose to be angry right like you could choose the anger out you could choose to go down the, the path of revenge you could be using this year to be like you know what so many people fuck me over so i'm gonna be on my i don't give a fuck like i'm about to be on some fuck everybody shit right like since every time i'm trying to every time i'm you know, I do this, that, and third for people. People don't do it for me. They don't show up for me. Whoop. Maybe you found out that out this year, right? You could choose to next year be like in that energy, like on some revenge, on some like, all right, like, all right, I'm on my worst behavior. All right, like, I see y'all, I see y'all. Or you could choose the path of, you know what? That just shows me that. I'm just going to distance. This is, there's some people that I that should reveal the true color of people who are around me that I need to distance from. And I need to take some time to move and change some things around to be to myself and to pour the energy that I was giving to them. Take that and pour that into me and pour that into my projects and my self interest and things like that. Obviously, the, them and I are going down two different paths. That is fine. There's no beef between that. Instead, I'm not about to let them change my character into being a fucked up person too. I'm not doing that. All I am is doing is just filling up my own cup and just being more inward 
and more recluse compared to I'm still going to be around people, but I'm angry and I'm feeling some type of way. And so everybody is going to feel my wrath. Everybody going to feel my disdain. Everybody going to feel my anger. Are you going to use that for to pour to some new, you're like, you know what? I got some new interests that I want to do. Or, you know what? There's something I've been wanting to do anyways. Good. I ain't talking to you. They was calling me in so much any fucking ways. I'm about to be on my shit like i'm about to take this and be on fire like this is giving me artistic shit like i'm about to put out this some shit i've been saying i want to put out and woo, right or it's gonna be fuck them like i'm about to plot i'm about to get my get back you know i'm about to make sure that um i win at the end that shark eat shark world type shit right so the decision is yours. But if you choose self-preservation, you will draw forward. You will be exuberant. And so you will have so much energy and so much, you will feel so much better that you will be able to share it and receive it and be harmonious for 2026. 2026 will be your 10 of cups, right? That rainbow in the sky, the ribbon in the sky, the, the, I see please a green, right? Red roses too. Um <laughs> I see them bloom for me and you. Um and I think to myself, what a wonderful year. So twenty twenty six will be beautiful if you draw the four on yourself, like if you pour it into yourself. That is the that is the the suggestion for next year is to pour it into you just just self per persevere you gave to everybody that your mama don't answer your mama's calls you know my auntie man she get mad she call and i don't answer i put it i'll keep things on do not disturb because no don't disturb me <laughs> right do not answer your mama's call it's okay call her tomorrow don't ignore you, but you call her tomorrow. You call her in three days. Five days. Call her next week. If you need to fill your cup up. Just surprise it. Pop up on pop up on her one day. And then you be like, I need like a good month away from her again. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> That works, right? So, the last two cards is green. Again, that four or two. The choice is up to you. That's like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> I'm rhyming lately. I just been dropping flows lately. I'm just kidding, no. Um, seriously, so I was taking my shoe off. I wanted to flip it. And reverse. Where's the triple A man going? Triple A. Okay. What do you always want when you you doing casino? You want a triple A. You want a seven seven seven. Right? Well, I want to call it deuces, but it's not. Is it? I don't know. The aces. There we go. The aces. And so, which one do you want to choose? But it's going to be a balance because it can, you're going to want, it's going to be very tempting. We're going to be caught all the time in scenarios where you, you could be very self-serving, where you could be vindictive, where you could be conniving, where you could be um, a thief, where you could be whatever, negative, your shadow, your dark self, right? Because remember, this is Oya's year. This is, this is managing your temper. You could go be very angry. You be very green. Stop or go. Next year is a very stop and go year. Break. Breaking gas. The Matrix is going to want you to go. Never put. What do they say? I always say put your foot on the gas. Never take your foot off the gas. No. You got to take your foot off the gas. Your foot could touch the gas. Your foot don't have to slam on the gas. It could be just lightly be on the gas. And hell, it could be on the brake. Prepared to stop at any moment. Don't those cars and those trucks, it says this truck is, it makes 
multiple stops, just prepare to stop any moment. Be prepared to stop at any moment. That's the same for me with Uber. I'm not going to be online for five hours. No, I'm going to be online for two hours and I stop and I'm going to go do something and I'm going to get back on and I'm going to stop and I'm going to do something and I'm going to get back on and call it a day. You're not a robot. You're not a machine. Rest so that you could be in green. Because if you go continue to be burnt out, you're going to be resentful. You're going to be mad and you're going to be very angry. You're going to be tired. You're going to be very achy. And you're going to have a lot of inflammation in your body. You're going to, everybody's going to have a lot of... It's going to be a rise in arthritis pain next year. It's exacerbating next year. To where people are like, kill me. A lot of suicides, a lot of deaths and things like that that's going to be happening next year has a lot to do with body pains than emotional pain so if you see somebody like commit suicide or overdose or do something like that a lot of times it's them trying to ease some body pains or inflammation in their body inflammation hurts really bad because it's internal they can't get to it at least a, a scar you can see that shit so it's an oh yeah year Oya brings lessons, and she brings blessings. Now, we had a taste of her earlier this year. So, we already know what to expect when she fully takes over next year. See, we had Oshun. We had Oshun this year. So, Oshun was like, be easy on them. Well, I was like, okay, I'm going to wait. But you got Oya next year. So, oh, yeah, year. Fucking, is that a cricket? Just hopped on my shoulder. I'm gonna go look at a cricket spiritual meter later on. I'm gonna cat when she needs it. There's a crew for her right there. Yeah, it's just landing on me. Mm -hmm. That must be good luck, because it's right on my right shoulder. She said, and right, and so, period. Okay. So it's an Oya year. But if you did good with Oya and you made the changes and you're just taking it one day at a time, it's going to be some inconveniences and there's going to be, it's like traffic, right? If you look at the freeway, it's going to be some inconveniences and there's going to be some, some uh, you know, good, clear traffic. There's going to be some goals and there's going to be some stops. But as long as you remain cool when it stops, Let's just stay prepared when it was green. You're going to be good. That's a 2025. Little thing for a moment. But we're going to also talk about the Hierophant. Because next year, there's a lot of conversations. A lot of the conversations we're going to be having around tradition and what is it's going to be a year that is not we're going to be getting out of our emotions next year next year is not an emotional year it's not an emotional year get out your feelings next year it's clear it's cookie cutter next year people don't give a fuck next year like there's no fucks given next year that's why I'm saying, like, the energy is, like, you're going to be either in that I don't give a fuck. Like, people don't give a fuck about me. I don't give a fuck about y'all. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I'm going to do me. And you are going to be your full shadow, full rage, full outrageous self next year. Or you're going to be, like, I don't give a fuck if you beg that I didn't attend your wedding. I'm not going to your wedding because I don't want to go. I just want to be in bed today. I want to be with my man today. I'm calling off work to make love today. Fuck Uber today. Anybody else's emotions is 
I'm not respond. No one is. Re I'm not responsible for nobody's emotions, but I'm not going to intentionally fuck nobody else over. You feel what I mean? It's like that. Like, I'm not responsible for anybody's emotions, and I'm not in mine. It's very. We're going to have to be very analytical. It's about the truth. Oh y'all, like, oh y'all is like it is what it is. Grow up. And so next year is a we'll grow up year but a lot of people are going to be having their grievances it's also going to be a good death year people are going to be dealing with a lot of grief i say just give people compassion like don't even invest emotion into anything like when a person snaps at you when a person whatever whatever just be like you know what that's between you you and you right but i'm not going to let it impact my emotions if i make a mistake like say let's say i miss I miss an exit and I'm driving somebody I miss an exit and I have to go all around the road to get them to a place but they're late them being stressed out for them being late is not my responsibility for me like oh I made that mistake oh my goodness let me make sure that I stay re aware I totally understand them they have the right to feel that way however I'm still going to continue to drive safe I am not going to do a whole bunch of things to appease them right it's like that maybe you did something very small you're like oh you know what i did something oh that oh i'm oh that was a little fucked up okay um they're pissed okay they would have the right to retaliate okay girl you right um and then you move on but it's not for you to to you're not responsible for like making them feel better you're not responsible for to make it for making anybody feel better um, you did the action, you know, whatever, whatever. But if somebody is retaliated, you know, just snap first at you or just on a trip, spirits are like, you know, next year, don't even add to that fuel. Just send compassion. Transmute that fire into to green. Right? Don't get into the emotions of it and wanting to argue with somebody because you feel offended. Who cares? There's going to be a rise in, like, racism next year. People just saying shit just to get a rise out of people. It's more so just to get a rise in out emotional response. The less you get, the less of an emotional response you give, give, a, I don't give a fuck about just being, like, unbothered. Are you done? God bless you. May peace be with you. Namaste right some shit like that like uh, okay i see what you do okay haha <laughs> or don't say anything at all the silence the, let them know but that's gonna be the next year is a year of the bully but if you are dealing with a bully someone who keeps fucking with you it is all y'all's year you fight back you fight back you fight back not your mama, not your auntie, your sister, your cousin fight for you. You fight back. Only you could fight your oppressor. Only you could fight the opponent. It no longer becomes your fight when it when they're fighting someone else. Only you can fight your opponent. If you rage a fight, if you got into the box. C match. If you got into the boxing box square thing, what is it called? The thing. The boxing ring. If you got in the, why is it called a ring if it's a square? I was like, why is it a square? But I feel like if it was a circle, you'd be dizzy as fuck. Like, I would be dizzy. I would probably fall. I'm a clumsy person in general, so. Mm -mm. It was funny because I was walking. 
I was like, you know what? I'm clumsy. I'm always tripping. Like, I'm always tripping on something. I always miss a step, tripping my own foot. I might trip on on something, right? I'm always tripping on a curve or step, a concrete, some a tree stump. I'm always tripping. Hardly ever. It's very rare. Do I ever just slam on the floor and fall all the way down? It's very rare that I fall down. By the grace of God. So I try to catch myself. You know, I have good upper core strength. I try to catch myself. But I do trip a lot. I was like, damn, when was the last time I fell? The last time I fell, that's when I got this. The last time I fell was, I think, like, my second to last day at, uh, like, like my second last week, either my second last week or like my second last, it was like my second last week of uh, in Houston when I was at Walmart. I deserve that fall. But I rise back up again. For a snake is just a sinner who fell down. Because I definitely committed a sin. <laughs> I committed a sin. That's what I'm going to start saying. Don't commit your... Don't commit... Confess your crimes. Just say you confess your sins. Don't confess your, confess your crimes. Confess your sins. I didn't admit to a crime. I admitted to a sin. I committed a sin. I didn't commit a crime. So I did, so I was sitting, I was sitting, and I fell. Like, I fell, like, damn, like, bitch was limping. <laughs> Scarred up and shit. Bleeding. <laughs> I didn't bleed, but, <laughs> being dramatic, but I felt like a little blood. <laughs> it's that. It was red. But, um, yeah, I haven't fell in a long time. That should tell you about your life. It lets you know. Like, your moral, like, your moral code, like, where you kind of at morality, moral ways, if you just been sinning and shit, you might fall. But if you ain't fell in a minute, you're on the right track with life. If you fell down, she was just sitting there, signifying you. You're, you're starting over. So the spirit's like, are you doing too much? You need a new character. You need to, you need to purify yourself. Go wash that sin away. And it probably rained that day, too, to wash my sin away. I went to Houston to wash my sins away. That's what it did. It's going to rain a lot. I see you looking at me. <laughs> We wash my sins away, oh, I be dead. But if you choose peace and staying around your peace and just restoring your cup, it's going to be so easy not allowing people to disturb you. But you're going to experience, like, the more peaceful you are, 
you're going to experience so much retaliation against that next year. Like, you're just kind of like, what the fuck? Like, why are people tripping? Right? Because you're just so peace. You're at peace with yourself. You're just authentically you. You do what feel, feels called and feels right to you. You want to put foundation on today? You put foundation on today. You don't want to put it on tomorrow? You don't put it on tomorrow. You want your hair raggedy today? You wear your hair raggedy today. You want it slick, slapped, and slammed up? It's slicked up, glistening, glossing, right? Whatever you want to do, you do. It's your year next year. It's all about you. It's all about you. Every other city we go, every other radio. Mm. No matter where I go, I, I, I see the same. Oh, oh. Don't be a trap. You could be a traveling hoe, but don't be a traveling. Um, don't be traveling to to uh, be in the same. Like, don't be a traveling groupie. You could travel and do some whole shit, but don't be a traveling hoe. Like, don't let everybody know you. Damn, this hoe here? This hoe there? No. Just be in that location, and you might do some little whole shit on the law, and then go on, go on about your business. You know what I mean? Like that. But yeah, it's have fun this year. Be in your shadow. You know, you're going to be grieving. It's a lot of grief this year. A lot of people will be grieving next year. I mean, um, it's a lot of grief next year. It's heavy grieving next year. It's a heavy sense of Maretta. It's a very Coco year. It's a very ancestral year next year. Really take time to honor and sit with your ancestors next year. Listen to their guidance next year. We're going to be so, so we're in the sacral chakra and so we're in and I'm going to be talking a lot about trauma. So a lot of my videos and stuff is going to be trauma related. Um, at the deeper we delve into to the sacral, I'm just waiting until I am alone to be able to enter into it. That is really it's just been a hold up. It has been me moving. Once I move and I am in my home, I will then begin our trauma work. On top of our trauma work, we are going to talk about ancestral historical traumas too. Um, we're going to be talking about a lot about bullies and bullying and your experiences with bullies. And so instead of it being your traumas, I want you to name everybody who is was a bully to you in any shape, way or form, right? Because those things, those that thing is going to be important not only for your for getting through your sacral and your emotions and your emotional responses and is and us observing others other people's emotional responses you're going to be looking at your bullies and looking at how they respond to emotions versus how you respond to emotions you're going we're going to also i am heading to the south which means i will be getting a lot of information on historical black trauma so we're going to be talking a lot about slavery a lot about jim crow um all those different things um that has happened to black people in america a lot of black history black american history i'm going to be thoroughly exploring on that and having conversations my goal is to be able to talk to a lot of old southerns that live in in the south in this chatty Okay, so I'm going to be finding chatty old folks to sit and talk to. I want to be sitting on porches. Okay, I want to sit on porches. That's what my social thing is. I want to sit on somebody's porch and just talk. Eat some pie and talk. Drink drink some lemonade, some sweet tea and talk. Okay, to some old folks. Um, But we're going to be getting into all those things. But we're going to be getting into bullying and how to handle your bully you're going to be facing your bullies this year next year you are standing up for yourself next year next year oya does not support punk behavior oya is not turn the other cheek oshun does oshun rewards you for taking the higher road for using sweetness for using an alternative way to defeat thing oya does not reward that Oh, y'all rewards you standing up for yourself. Next year, you better stand up. For the remainder of this year, you, you be the bigger person. You just be like, you know what? I'll let you have it. Do you. Next year, you could 
you put people in their place. It's a good year to put people in their place. It's a good year. To, it's going to be a lot of workplace fights, a lot of workplace brawls. The shit you used to be able to get, you know, like the like the college campus now, you got to get bag checked and everything else because them kids, them college kids, and remember I told y'all they're reading before I left SC, right? Like, now SC got, before I told y'all, like, these kids finna lose it. Like, they finna be fighting and stuff like that. And the week before, like, the week I left, after the week I left, or a week after I left, it was mayhem. Like, them kids was cut up to where now they got security and shit like that. They had to cancel graduations and shit like that because them kids. So, the college kids showed you where it's headed. And so, now it's about to be the break in the work environment now. Like, it, the college kids already, it's like enough and enough. Now, it, it's the, the second tier. It's the ones that the, the college folks in corporate spaces and things like that. It's them. They're the ones who are, who finna be in their fight, okay? I'm about to go cause my phone about to die, but basically the office, corporate America finna be like the Waffle House. Like it's giving Waffle House, like it's we finna see so many videos of folks fighting in the office, in a suits, in a suit and tie. Okay, a tie that Mysterio keep giving him a rash. I hate that fucking material. It's I have the most problem. Like, it's not good. Like those suits and all of those things. Those things aren't good for vaginal. I like to add a little weed to the tip of my the back of my arm. And remember, they're the ones who's listening the most to y'all. In the hood, you know what music is played the most in the hood? Oldies. Oldies. Oldies, 90s, R&B and shit. That's what the hood listen to. Who listening to Lotto and them is people going to their job. You see their content when they say they how they are when they go when they in the office versus how they are out of the office. When you listening to all that music to work and heading out after work, you want to fight. And so now your coworker just says some shit. Next year you're ready to fight. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll keep going into it. I still have more stuff to talk about for what to what the energy is like next year and how we should emotionally prepare for it. And we'll talk about that later. But peace out.